What's up guys, it's Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at how to install custom aircraft and custom airports into real flight. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you're always made aware when we have new videos come out on the channel. Now let's start adding some custom airports. For those of you that were not aware, we run a live show every Monday here on the channel called Air Marshall Mondays. We host that every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So be sure to join us for that. Now on the first Monday of every month, we also host a virtual fly-in using Real Flight. Now you can come and join us and fly with members of the community. We can have up to 32 flyers in there and it's always a real great time. We have different events and contests and things like that. Uh, there's no prizes other than, other than pride. Um, you know, but it's always a real fun time and we enjoy doing it. Now the reason that we're making this video is sometimes we uh, we host events and we're using specific fields and things like that. So uh, this will help you download the field uh, that you need and get it installed in real flight so you can join us and have the right field available and the right airplanes if we have specific airplanes that we're going to be using. Now for this coming Monday, which is June 1st of 2020, we're going to be flying at the virtual Joe Nall field. So uh, we're going to walk through the steps of installing the uh, official RC Group's virtual Joe Nall field, uh, the Triple Tree Aerodrome, as well as a uh, custom airplane, which will be a uh, an Extreme Flight uh, Jace Ducia model. So uh, that'll be cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. We're going to shift over and check out the website where you'll be able to download these from. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the airfield, uh, which you can find at the Knife Edge uh, forums under their swap pages. Now, under the swap pages, uh, you're going to want to log in. Uh, and if you haven't logged in already, you'll need to register to get a login name because you'll need that to be able to download the files. Now, once you've logged in, you can search for official RC Group's virtual Joe Nall triple tree underscore AP. That'll take you to the page that we're looking at here. Uh, and I've also got links in the description for both the airport that we're downloading as well as the airplane that we're going to be downloading. So that's what you want to do first is navigate to that page and we're just going to click the download link, which will get the files that we need to bring onto our PC. And then we can load those up into real flight. So we'll go ahead and click download. And that's going to download that RFX file. And you can see that just downloaded into, um, into Google Chrome for us. Next, we're going to go over to the airplane that we want to download, and we're going to go ahead and grab that file as well. If you look in the description, you'll find a link for the 120cc extra uh, Jace V2, and that is a Jace Ducia uh, 120cc extra that he uses himself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to that page and that'll take us over to the air or to the uh, the place where we can download that now we're going to want to download this but what this is is it is a um it's like a theme right so if you look here at the web page uh, you'll see this variant requires so this is a variation of a different custom airplane that someone else created so we're going to need both the original uh, airplane, which is the extra 330 SCEA, as well as the variant um, that we're looking at here. Now, we're going to go ahead and download this, uh, which will get us the variant file. And then we're also going to go to the link where it says this variant requires. We're going to go to that link as well. And we're going to download that base plane. We're going to go ahead and grab that as well. All right. And now we've got all three of the files that we need to load up the custom airplane and custom airfield uh, that we're going to need to get started in real flight. So now we're going to go ahead and shift over to real flight. All right. So here we've got real flight nine loaded. 
and uh, we're at Eli Field and we've got the Havoc loaded up. Now it doesn't really matter where you start from. So you can be at any field, you can be, you know, you can have any airplane loaded up, it doesn't matter. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load up the uh, the Virtual Joe Null Triple Tree field. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up here in the upper left hand corner, we're going to click where it says Simulation. And then we're going to go down to Import, and then we're going to go to Real Flight Archive, uh, which is RFX or G3X files. So we're going to click Real Flight Archive, and it's already looking at my Downloads folder, but if it wasn't, we could just navigate to the Downloads folder for, uh, for your computer, or wherever you save the files that you downloaded from the, uh, the swap pages at the Knife Edge forums. So here, I've got the official RFC Group's Virtual Joe Null Triple Tree uh, field. And I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And you can see down here at the bottom left, it says the airport and official RFC Group's Virtual Joe Null Triple Tree RFX was successfully imported. So now when we go over here to the menu on the left side of the screen, uh, we should be able to click on airports and we should be able to see the uh, the virtual Joe Null. So here it is, official RC Group's virtual Joe Null triple tree. Now it does not have the preview available and that's fine, but let's go ahead and switch to that field and see how it looks. Now just as a, a forewarning, there are a lot of elements uh, in the virtual field here. So, uh, you know, just be patient with it. It will load. Uh, you just got to give it some time. So now we are loaded up into the virtual Jonal field. And uh, what we can do is we can go up here and change, um, you know, where we're starting from and things like that. And... Uh, what we can do is we can do we can change the camera position so we can change basically where the pilot's going to spawn from so we can change it from the uh, the default which is the main line at Jonal which is where we're sitting now we can change over to water uh, which takes us over to the lake at Triple Tree we can also change it to the 3D line and there is also a position for the 3D line on the water. And uh, we're going to go back to the main line here, which is the default. Now let's get to uh, where we're going to install the airplane. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go up here to simulation. We'll go to import, real flight archive. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the base aircraft, right? And for this one, it's that extra 330 SCEA. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and load that first. And then we'll see down here at the bottom, the aircraft and extra 330 SCEA RFX was successfully imported. And now we'll go back and do the same thing where we will do import real flight archive and we'll pick that 120 cc extra Jace v2 and that's the variant file that was customized by Jace Ducia now what we can do now is go over here select the aircraft it's probably listed under there we go 120 cc extra Jace v2 we're gonna go ahead and load that up so here is uh, the Jace Ducia uh, Extra 330. We'll go ahead and give this a little test flight. Now, I don't do a lot of 3D flying myself, but this airplane is very responsive. I just can't do any of the cool stuff, the prop hangs and 3D flight and all that. I mean, yeah. It's just going to not work out well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, I guess if you're going to land it, you can always land it upside down, right?
All right, that should be everything that you need to get started with installing custom aircraft and custom airfields in real flight. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're interested in purchasing real flight, be sure to check the description. We've got links down there that are affiliate links, and when you use them, it helps out the channel. We really appreciate that. I've got links for real flight with the controller, without the controller. Uh, we've also got links for the wireless dongle, a uh, the Interlink USB controller if you need that, as well as the DXE transmitter, which works well with the wireless dongle. If you want that, uh, you know, a wireless uh, controller without using your field transmitter. So the DXE works great for that. And uh, I can do some videos on how to set up the DXE with the WS2000 dongle. If you guys would like to see that as well, just let me know down in the comments. As always, if you'd like to leave a contribution for the channel, big or small, it's always appreciated. There's a PayPal link in the description that you can hit uh, where you, know, you can leave 50 cents, you can leave 50 bucks. Uh, either way, it all goes back into the channel and we certainly appreciate your support. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you're always made aware when we have new videos coming out. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.